Every FEA software is composed of three parts, the pre, the post and the solver. As the pre and the post can be found through the user interface, we understand generally easily what it represents, but the solver remains a bit mysterious, hidden behind the interface to solve all the problems. So the job of the pre-process is to create the model, to prepare the geometry and the mesh, and to define the properties, the material, the loads and the boundary conditions. Then a text file which is, includes all those data under a specific standard format is generated and sent to the solver. So the job of the solver himself is to take these data, process them using a specific algorithm and to give an output that corresponds to the result of the analysis. Then these data are then sent back to the post process which will open the data and display them on, in a form that will be understandable for the users, so it can be contours, graphs or tables. So in fact the solver is kind of the brain of the software, it contains all the algorithms that will be able to decompose and process the input data to get the rep results needed. Now we'll see a bit more in details how the solver works. So a system of equations Solver is used not only for linear static structural analysis but also for all other types of analysis such as eigenvalue, buckling, dynamic and nonlinear analysis. Generally two types of solver exist, a direct solver which is based either on the Gauss elimination or the LU decomposition and an iterative solver in which errors are minimized and solutions are converging through and iterative calculations. A direct solver is wisely used in structural analysis because finding solution is stable without being affected by the numerical characteristics of the matrix, but in, it rapidly tends to demand a significant memory space and a large amount of calculations for large problems, in which case an iterative solver requiring re relatively less memory is more desirable. For structural analysis, however, it must be cautioned that an iterative solver may not provide the desired solutions due to the numerical characteristics of the matrix, or the amount of iterative calculations may become significant in arriving at converged solutions. Minus FX provides a function that automatically selects between the direct solver and iterative solver depending on the scale of the problem required to be analyzed. So a direct solver obtains the solution to a system of equations in two steps. So the first step involves matrix decomposition and the second step performs the forward-backward substitution method. The LU decomposition method, which is applied to a general asymmetrical matrix, is applied to decompose a stiffness matrix in the following form for the process of finite element analysis. So the important as aspect of using a direct solver is to properly use the sparsity of the matrix, generally the stiffness matrix K generated in the process of finite element analysis is a sparse matrix containing numerous zero terms and the amount of calculations and required memory space significantly change depending on the method of using the sparsity. Minus FX supports a dense solver for solving a general dense matrix which does not use the sparsity of the matrix and in addition Midas FX supports a multifrontal solver as the basic direct solver which can remarkably reduce the amount of calculations and memory space while appropriately using the sparsity of the matrix. So on the right here you have an example of uh, the type of decomposition a multifrontal solver can can do on uh, the stiffness matrix before the computation. Now let's look at what is an iterative solver. So an iterative solver uses a method which reduces errors in approximate solutions obtained through an iterative process leading to convergence. It is crucial to rapidly reduce the convergence errors in a small number of iterations, 
Generally, the number of iterative calculations depends on the preconditioning technique. Midas and FX use the SA, Smooth Aggregation, AMG, Algebraic Multigrid method, which is known as a stable preconditioning technique, irrespective of element shapes. The AMG method uses multigrid, so the number of iteration is not greatly influenced by the number of degree of freedom. It also exhibits stable convergence when using elements consisting of displacement and rotational degrees of freedom at each node, such as shell elements. The iterative solver using the AMG method automatically composes multigrids, which are created by the sets of neighboring nodes and the degree of freedom representing each set of nodes. So, as explained earlier, the performance of a direct solver or an iterative solver changes with the scale of the problem to be analyzed, for which MidasFX provides a function making an automatic selection between the two. So when the function of automatic selection of an equation solver is checked, an appropriate solver is used on the basis of the problem size. The direct solver using the dense matrix is selecting for a small scale problem, the multifrontal solver is selected for a mid scale problem, and the AMG iterative solver is selected for a large scale problem. The criteria for automatic selection are determined by considering the following aspects. If the empirical condition is known, determine the basis of the nodes or the number of elements specified by the user. If the empirical condition is unknown, then it's determined by the program based on the number of degree of freedom of the model and the system memory size. Now, what you may be wondering is how fast Midas NFX is. Well, we did the testing with those models and we got pretty impressive results. So the result depends, of course, of the type of analysis, of the model, of the computer, if it's a 32 or 64 bits, and the solver which has been used. Those test models are actually not so big, and I think that you may see every day some models bigger than that in your FEA projects. Well, if you have more questions, uh, please contact us directly by email. So my email is cyprian at midasit.com. I will be very glad to answer your question. Thank you.